Hello, welcome to this Josic training video. In this video, we will cover the GMS configuration for the network settings and also the GMS configuration in Geodas so that you can retrieve data and change the configuration. So we have now the Geodas software running and we also have the Yukon console connected to the device. As you can see, I'm using the COM9 at the speed of 19200 and here in the Yukon I can also see my own IP that will be useful afterwards for the configuration so at this stage I will turn on the GMS by pressing the power button and as you can see a menu comes and asks me to press Ctrl Z I press Ctrl Z this menu only appears during a few seconds and then it will boot automatically so you must do this at startup um, now we are ready so the first thing to do is to make the network settings so I will press N for the network settings here it asks me if I want a static IP address in this case it's set to auto which means we are in DHCP this is the default for all the GMS's so if I don't have any change I can simply press enter the telnet, it asks me about the telnet uh, in this case it is enabled, you can also disable telnet can be used for debugging in case you have some issues with your instrument the recovery server IP address that is the IP address that you, the GMS will try to contact in case you cannot reach for 24 hours the default server and the port to be used here the configuration is for the Geosig recovery server at this stage we always have a server running that then you can contact our survey department in case you cannot reach anymore your GMS we can try to send a new configuration to it uh, if you have a device with the Wi-Fi option you can also use the uh, Wi-Fi setup menu here to configure the Wi-Fi you can press S it will enter the setup of the Wi-Fi this can also be done from Geodas but I will just show you from here the only settings here to change are number 4 WLAN then you have to choose if you have an infrastructure mode which means with an access point or an ad hoc mode which is a direct connection between the Wi-Fi of your laptop and your GMS um, in this case we have we don't change so we keep the zero then the SSID name we have a test setup here with GMS 101 the security that you want to use the, and then the other options are usually led by default so auto fallback the maximum speed of 54 megabps we don't enable the rest of the options and once you have changed you can make save and exit once you have done save and exit you can press the escape key to come back to the normal menu the bootloader menu and proceed with the item 5 boot from the default image which will boot by default your GMS so now the boot process will go ahead it can take some time it will display all the Linux boot messages and also the new dust boot messages and we should just wait for a while if you check your GMS at this stage the status led or the error led is is fully read which means that the device is not yet running properly You see here it received an IP address from my server automatically, so it got the IP 10.39. You can see it oops, a little bit here, and it will go on with the boot process. It will check if there are some firmware updates to to do. It will check the actual files on the on the device, uh, load the configuration, and start acquiring the data.
so you see now it finished the boot up process so now it's running and acquiring data so now what we can do is go to the Geoda software under settings configure stations there is the upper part for the GSR which is the old generation and the bottom part that is related to GMS stations here we can simply press the auto detect button and then the GMS will be auto detected so as you can see here I did really uh, detect a lot of GMS's because I have a lot running at the moment in, in my network I can recognize it by using the serial number in my case I know I'm using the serial number 100,292 so I will simply remove the other ones from my setup and just keep this one I can give the station name I would like to in this case I will call it CH292 it's usual that we call the stations with the country name and then the three last digits of the serial number here you can also see that I can uh, make the network configuration auto or static as we have done previously in the bootloader and I can also configure the wireless if I come here in the GMS the Wi-Fi SSID and I double click I can have access to the to the Wi-Fi configuration for this to be working I have to have a network configured and running so uh, either the wireless is already configured or you can use a network cable to connect your LAN in order to auto detect the GMS so now that it is configured I can simply press OK and as you can see now under stations I have a new station that appeared called CH292 and this is my running GMS so at the moment the GMS is running but as you can see in the Yukon terminal is contacting the server that was configured previous, uh, previously by default we configured the server as the Geosig recovery server so now if I want to change this configuration I can simply right click in the station and make instrument setup the Geodas will ask for the configuration so here we get to the main configuration window for the station and in my case what I want to do is configure the my PC so I will go under N communication parameters and then in the server parameters and here I can change the IP address and the port that I want to use so in my case I want to use my own IP you can see the IP either from the Windows tool or also in the Yukon you can see your own IP which is actually a very useful feature so I did change the IP and send it to the Geodas to the GMS sorry so as you can see now in the Yukon he received a new configuration so my Geodas sent a new configuration and he will reboot using this configuration so that he can connect afterwards to my Geodas on my actual PC and not to the recovery server also here in the meantime we can check in the station configuration we have server parameters where you see you can enter your own IP address or enter uh, leave 0000, which means that you will listen on all the network interfaces you have on your device and the server port uh, you can change this by default we use the 19675 so I will change it and simply press OK and OK it tells me that I did some changes I say yes and he is restarting to have a better view of what's going on you may click window tile and then you can see the stations the serial communication channels if any and the just plus logger where you can see what's going on
So let's just wait for the GMS to finish the boot process and to be ready to communicate with Jodas. So the GMS is booting and running. So from here, now what I can do is go to the list of the stations, press more information. And at the moment, I did not yet receive any SOH file, status of health. So I can press the update button to receive uh, an updated. And from here, I can see the basic information about the GMS, so about the firmware that is running, firmware versions, the files and memory, the configuration, and since when the GMS is running, and a list of errors, uh, error and warnings in case there have been any issues. So now you have it running. So uh, you can also go ahead with changing some more parameters in the configuration. And for this, I recommend you to read the GMS user manual. Thank you.